a new day, a new project, and uh, I found out that a lot of people are using uh, amplifiers, you know, for uh, mining, you know, helium mining, and um, they have a problem with powering the amplifier. So I can show you a very simple solution, cheap and very reliable in the same time. It's uh, absolutely okay, and I'm pretty sure you have all of you have uh, this kind of stuffs around the house. What I'm talking about, a simple mobile charger, doesn't matter, old, new, I think this is more than 10 years old or something anyway. And of course, a USB cable, like this, the normal USB cable. And what we have to do is to cut the cable and uh, as you can see, there are a lot of wires inside there. We don't need them. What we are looking for, usually, it's a red and a black wire. Why? Because those cables, usually, they are the power supply connection. This kind of uh, adapters, you know, they deliver 5 volts to any mobile phone. Most of the amplifiers like AB8685V, it's working absolutely perfect with 5 volts delivered by this kind of power supply. And uh, here we are good people. We have the black and we have the red one. The other two it's for data. We don't need them. Just cut them out. Let me Peel the wires. We are ready to go. But obviously I need a power supply. A main power supply. Just get it into the socket. Let's plug this in. And now here we should have 5 volts. KOH KM61. My multimeter. I really recommend that you have a link for buying it cheap and we have a discount price and let's see you know what's funny this is exactly the other way usually the red one it's plus but not in this case so it's good also to have a multimeter it's very good to have a multimeter now here we have the wires connected the other way. Maybe it's a mistake because the standard is very clear about. And of course, that's the way it should be. You have to check this before anything. Uh, usually the amplifiers, they have a power circuit uh, inside, so they are not getting burned if you reverse the polarity, but don't bet on that. So check it with a multimeter. Like in my case, black it's plus here. Okay, that's funny. So I couldn't stand and I found another cable that's a USB cable, obviously. And let's cut it. All right. And let's see the guts. So remember what we are looking for, for a black and for a red cable. And there we are. We have a black and we have a red. Okay. So like I said, normally black is ground and red is plus. So we have this, put it into the power supply, to the charger in fact. And let's check the polarity now. Red should be plus. What? Yeah. And there we go, 5.1, 5.132, so this is a very clear example. You know, when I try, I mean, when you try to prove something, you know, that was the idea of, uh, of this uh, video, to show you how to have a cheap power supply from the things around the house. But it's so funny, I never ever encounter a reversed colored cable. It's 99.99, .99, except this guy, <laughs> where black 
it's plus and red it's minus and i'm absolutely convinced that this is a mistake because anyway nobody's cutting a cable like this to use it in another purpose so actually it doesn't really matter the colors inside there as long as you have the right connections to the connectors here of course but it was really nice to encounter that because next time I'm going to be sure that I'm checking the polarity first. If you don't have a multimeter, you should buy one. And the uh, K-Wits is waiting for you. All right. Black on minus. Red on plus. And there we go. 5.1. Okay, let me try another adapter. Okay, this is a very usual normal okay we have a sony old sony guy let's put this in i can assure these power chargers i mean uh, mobile chargers they have enough power to supply an amplifier so don't worry about that and also the voltage is pretty stable this one is 4.9 around 5 volts minus 0 1 or something okay another old one let's see this guy 5.035 and like i said it's more than enough power and it's also uh, good protection against short and uh, you know if a cable it's uh, losing or something like this so you can use this without a problem for for uh, supplying your amplifier one what i want to show is just a little demonstration how you can do the things I'll use my little camera because this one is working with 5 volts. Let me turn it off. So this little camera, it's starting automatically when 5 volts is applied to the port. All right. So we have 5 volts here. Let's consider this the amplifier. Okay use the right polarity in our case it's black to black and red to red and there we go now the camera should start and power on you see it's exactly what i meant so you can use without any problem one of these old power supplies charger for mobile phones as a amplifier power supply shouldn't be a problem but like i said before if you have a multimeter check the polarity first okay i hope it's useful i'll be back with some other projects don't forget to like it's very important subscribe also and uh, comment if you if you feel like and uh, most of all, don't forget to have fun. See you. Bye-bye.